Hi everybody, thanks for coming back to our channel. After the reality check of Saturn, Venus and Plutonic heavy, intense, dig deep, spit your gut out weekend, it's time to move over to the bright side. Today we're going to cover the enlightened full moon in Sagittarius which will go exact on 29th uh, in a few hours in Asia and then um, in about, uh, about a day in United States and Europe. So uh, we will cover that. It's 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 a it's a moon which which is in Sagittarius and what does Sagittarius stand for it stands for light of truth it stands for high purpose for adventure for travel for bravery in one part of your life and I'll cover in separate video for each sign and how on which part of your life this throws light on depending on um, your personal chart if it aspects any of your planets around within two degree uh, of where the full moon is. Full moon is at 8 degree of Sagittarius. So if you have any personal planets within 2 degree of um, of this, which is around say 6 to 10 degree of Sagittarius, uh, especially a sun, ascendant or moon, this will be very significant for you. Every sign gets uh, one full moon uh, in a year. So this is definitely very significant for Sagittarius. But also if you have any personal planets within these signs, it's significant for you. For the rest of the signs, this is um, this gives you some kind of culmination to something that you started in one aspect of your life about six months back, and this will be valid for the next two weeks that you should see the culmination of that. Again, I'll cover more detail when we go into the signs. Let's first explore what the full moon and Sagittarius stand for, and that's what this video is about. Full moon and Sagittarius. We full moons as a as a concept stands for something that brings it's an event which brings something in our life to completion probably something that you started about six months back as i said in december when you had the new moon and sagittarius in the same house this full moon is flower moon what does that mean it's the end of a frosty time um i would say i, I don't think scorpio is a frosty sign but it's a time of ending of hardships and moving towards a uh, towards a more pleasant time it washes away the negative energy or the flow of emotions what which, which was existing before it's supposed to be healing and moving us to a higher um, higher ground um, for people who work in healing professions this is uh, this full moon is actually used to draw energy um, because uh, this this full moon is supposed to offer healing energy to people the full moon is is essentially called flower moon because it's time for wildflowers of all colors to bloom and their way to show up as their true self. Sagis have no pretense as you know neither does this moon so it's the time for some sort of truth to come out some sort of light to be thrown on something that was either not not known to you or something that was holding you back. This is uh, this is also an energy which is in trine with nodes. Um, nodes as I define and you can call them north node, south node, Rahu, Ketu, uh, whichever branch of astrology you practice or you look into or are interested in. Uh, it's In simple language, it's the path to your destiny. What did you come in this world for? This full moon is in positive aspect uh, to these nodes. So it's it's very important to watch out for what which direction it's taking you because it might help you in, your, in that path and if that was not enough uh, this is also a time um, I talked about it last time last week as well um, this is a time of grand trine what grand water trine that's happening so the trine between Jupiter and Neptune that I talked about which is one of the reasons why the Jupiter and Scorpio season is so positive it's one of the most positive aspect Venus joins that party um, so currently Jupiter and Scorpio Neptune and Pisces and Venus and Cancer are in trine with each other this is a grand water trine uh, which will affect uh, certain three houses in your chart uh, which are occupied by water signs and the, this this is a very positive energy venus trine jupiter itself would have been positive combined with neptune and its ruler joining the party it's um it, it's a time of adding love to um a, a positive spiritual creative experience um full moon is also a time of oppositions of heightened emotions this is opposition between Gemini and Sagittarius. Sun is in Gemini right now and Moon in Sagittarius. So uh, this is also a 
Gemini is the part where you show your skill, your detail, information, going into practical actions. Sagittarius is where you go into higher picture or bigger picture. So uh, the full moon will also show the opposition between these two parts of your life. It's perfect time to get a big picture with the Grand Water Trine joining the party. Um, and so it's also a test of you balancing the two energies out. In in eastern part of the world, this is also celebrated as Vesak Day or the Buddh Purnima and or Buddha's birthday to celebrate the life and teachings of Buddha. Veda celebrated the soma that was poured over Buddha, making him and his teachings immortal. All sorts of animal insects were set free on this day to actually mark this day of liberation. If we love our true self, the legacy we leave is immortal, while everything else is just for a moment. So this is a good time to honor and see what you're creating to honor your higher purpose. Uh, this is a time to celebrate liberation of soul. It's time of joy and happiness, but also from staying away of excesses, which also the ruler of Sagittarius, Jupiter, brings in. I talked about it in the in the last video as well. The the Grand Trine also could bring about over emotionality. So we try to stay away from the negative of Sagittarius as well as of this Grand Trine, which is excesses. Uh, getting over emotional, getting over um, positive and idealistic and and hence uh, not looking at the practical side of life. Saturn which is throw, is, continues to throw the, the opposition to Venus. Saturn Venus has weakened uh, today. Uh, it's at 4 degrees instead of uh, the exact degree that it was over the weekend. Uh, you'll see that this opposition has eased out a little bit uh, but you still have been given a perspective uh, depending on where Saturn is in your chart. So now we'll move into individual sign where I'll tell you about where Jupiter, Neptune, Venus, Saturn um, and this full moon are falling in your specific chart so you can take a look at that. Thank you. <music> 